Good morning everyone. The fall season is here and frost is quickly approaching. So we are going to take this opportunity and create a beautiful bouquet so that we can enjoy it indoors. Our first frost typically happens in late September, early October. And I was looking at the forecast and it looks like we may get a frost this week. So we're gonna take this opportunity to get as many beautiful flowers as we can while we can still enjoy them and get them inside. So I have this container over here, this vase. I was thinking of getting uh, one with a wider base, but knowing my family and <laughs> knowing that they don't like things in their way, uh, that I think having a smaller thing that is easier to move around uh, would be the best thing to do. So I have this vase over here. It has a smaller spout, as you can see, and it's gonna hold a lot less flowers, but this will still allow me to enjoy some flowers indoors. I wish I have thought about this or had the time to do this before and enjoy it throughout the summer, but I also have a hard time cutting uh, my flowers, even though these are all annual flowers and they love to be cut. They would produce more flowers if they were cut and they'd get bushier, but I just love to enjoy them on the plants and also the bees are just enjoying them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started.
I think it's very beautiful. I see some bugs on it, but I'll take them off before I uh, put them in. I just love it so much. And I put in sort of all the colors in here just because I want to enjoy all the color of the summer. I also, <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, the wind just knocked it over. Oh, oh no. So I had a, book, a small bouquet for my kitchen windowsill ah, and the wind knocked it over. I had some dahlias also. I thought of using them and I just changed my mind. I think I really like the way how these are. Maybe I'll make a separate bouquet later on using the dahlias. But these are just simple and elegant and now I need to put some water in here again because they're all wilty. I didn't have water on hand when I was making this one. Just gonna fluff it up a little bit. Maybe over here. Oops. I'm getting put on the spot. <laughs> There we go. I'll, it looks a little wilty right now because these, um, this is the Tetra White Fever Few right here and they wilt very quickly as soon as you harvest them. So I need to put in some water ASAP. I had it filled with water right now, but the wind just knocked it over. so much I'm super happy with it so right now we are going to go ooh, <laughs> the bees are coming after me now right now we are going to go to uh, harvest some pumpkins and we are going to decorate the front steps with them my son and I planted these pumpkins back in May I believe and So heavy. It's like going on a treasure hunt. It's so exciting finding out. Ow! I have a thorn bush right here. All the pumpkins that are that have come up out of this came out of. Oh, they're all huge. This is so exciting. I do need a little bit of cleaning though. This one looks like something was trying to eat it. I think there's no use keeping these over here. It's already starting to ripen anyways because the frost is coming soon. The plant looks sort of dead. So it's time to cut these off the vine. They are beautiful. I'm gonna have to wash them. It really is like a treasure hunt. I love this time of the year, even though it can be a little bit overwhelming or maybe a lot overwhelming. It's just so exciting finding all the things that you have grown throughout the summer. Oh, there's a big one over here. Look at this beast. It's perfect. Oh no. Ah, the roly polies have started eating this one. I should have harvested it a while ago. Uh, 
Oh, oh, this stinks. But I may be able to use this in cooking part of it. I don't know. I'll have to cut this part off. Oh my goodness, some animal. Wow, they're picking these. They must really like them. I should have harvested them earlier. Oh, I see one. Sway. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you guys have to see this. Look at this one. Do you see it? It is huge. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing here. Let's cut this over here. I, I may need someone to help me. I don't know. Oh, this one is a giant. I think I'm gonna ask my husband to help me. <laughs> it's gigantic. Okay, I got reinforcement. <laughs> Thank well, you for helping. I don't want to do this because it's a bad, you know. It's a, <laughs> yeah, you I might see a pumpkin to... there. I see a pumpkin there. Yeah, we're, we need to get them all because uh, bugs are eating them and the animals. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah. So I'm going two of them. to one there, one there. give these pumpkins that the animals were eating to the chickens. Should I go in? Yeah, go for it. All right, it. let's go in. You might, might need help. I don't know how I'm Oh gonna my you. goodness. Yeah. Look at that thing. It is gigantic. It's hard to show how big it is on oh, camera. When I'm carrying it, like, you'll see how big it is. Yeah. I'm guessing this plant's pretty much gone, so I'm gonna yeah, yeah, you just peel this thing back. There's also one uh, on top I can't reach. Up there? Yeah. Up there? Yeah. That's crazy. I, I can't see it from here, I don't know. Wow. It's even bigger now that I see it without the stuff in front of it. It is gigantic. <sighs> oh my goodness. Can you hold that? Yeah. It's still on the green side too. That's okay. It will ripen. It's already started the ripening process. Man. <laughs> we I just we just planted them here in a compost the, the, pile the, the, there's and your, left them. This is your uh, what do you call it? Shot thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> It's prize winning without me <laughs> doing anything. Yeah, no work. I like it. Yeah, I didn't even water them. Huh. Oh. Okay, you can see how heavy it is. Don't crack it. <laughs> <laughs> that is heavy. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to push the wheelbarrow actually to the... All right, so we got this one here. Yeah. Oh. This is all one plant, right? Yeah. Um, no, we planted several. We planted several plants in here. Oh. Probably like six plants, I would say. That's a nice pumpkin. Yeah. So, sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that a baby? They just Compared to that one, yeah. We just planted Wait, any more? Yeah. Oh there's yeah, one there's one I can't reach. It's at the top right there. Wait, up high there? Yeah. I can't even see it in the camera because it's uh, so far up here. You want the shears? Well, no. Okay. I can't see it in the camera either. When it comes out, maybe it smells something. It, w it may have started that high, but it's not going to stay up there. Oh, you got it. Awesome. Stay careful. Don't trip on the branch be behind your foot. Mm -hmm. There's a little one that was right here. I don't know where it went. Oh, I see it. It's right there. I can, get, I can go in there. You want to get it? Okay. Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. Let's see it. Stay back, right. Serenity, please. Right there. Where? Right there. A tiny little one? Yeah. Uh, okay, sure. I need my hands to get in there, though. Oh, okay. All right, I'll get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Now look at Mama with it. <laughs> 
like that one? It's perfect. It's just your size. That looks super light. Any more good ones? Here. I don't know. Come on, Strani. Yeah, can you guys give those to the chickens? The the eaten ones? The ones that are eaten. You and Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, you're welcome. I have not watered these pots in several days and they are clearly needing it. The coleus is wilting over here. I haven't even fertilized them for probably about a month, but they're starting to bloom again. So I think I'm going to fertilize them again and I'm just going to uh, have them go through the fall. There's really no reason for us to plant anything during the fall season over here unless it's frost hardy because our frost comes super early and as I mentioned earlier I think we're gonna be expecting frost uh, next week or the week after so I don't normally do fall planters again unless it's something that is extra frost hardy maybe like pansies and uh, some kale something like that but other than that there's not much that I can plant and I give these a quick rinse also, the pumpkins. Because they do have a lot of dirt on them and I don't want them to rot. It's not much, but I think it looks very cute. I don't know if you guys can see anything on the screen. I can't see anything on my screen. It's super sunny right now, but I do love it. It's very simple. All I did is was I just grew some pumpkins and then I brought them over here. And if I have uh, harvested the pumpkins a bit earlier, then we would have had a little more. And uh, I did not use the really big one over here because it was just not fitting and it's gigantic so we'll use this um, I'll just maybe make some pumpkin uh, jam or something like that from it and we're gonna be having a lot of pumpkin pie also that's the kids request over here and the caliber coas are still going and I haven't watered this pot in so many days the poor plants the coleus really is the one that's suffering the caliber coas don't really mind but I do need to give it some fertilizer as I have mentioned I haven't fertilized it for probably about a month or so and even before that I didn't fertilize it also for maybe about a month and then I gave it one dose of fertilizer so in the period of two months it's prob probably gave got like one dose of fertilizer so I'll be fertilizing it just so that I can have it continue to go a little bit further into the fall I'm not sure how the frost how it's going to handle the frost I don't suspect it's going to do well especially the coleus it will probably the first frost is probably just going to take it all out and what I can do then is I don't know maybe take one of the pumpkins from here and put it in the center of the pot we'll see what happens and if anything I don't know I may just uh, completely take the pots out of here or honestly I don't know we'll see what happens <laughs> but 
I think this is very simple and beautiful. The sun is right in my face and I can't see anything. I need some sunglasses right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications of whenever I upload new videos. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!